Now for Lesson 73 from the Workbook of Course in Miracles. Lesson 73. I will there be light. I will there be light. Today we are considering the will you share with God. This is not the same as the ego's idle wishes, out of which darkness and nothingness arise. The will you share with God has all the power of creation in it. The ego's idle wishes are unshared and therefore have no power at all. Its wishes are not idle in the sense that they can make a world of illusions in which your belief can be very strong, but they are idle indeed in terms of creation. They make nothing that is real. Idle wishes and grievances are partners or co-makers in picturing the world you see. The wishes of the ego gave rise to it, and the ego's need for grievances, which are necessary to maintain it, people sit with figures that seem to attack you and call for righteous judgment. These figures become the middlemen the ego employs to traffic in grievances. They stand between your awareness and your brother's reality. Beholding them, you do not know your brothers or yourself. Your will is lost to you in this strange bartering, in which guilt is traded back and forth and grievances increase with each exchange. Can such a world have been created by the will the Son of God shares with his Father? Did God create disaster for his Son? Creation is the will of both together. Would God create a world that kills himself? Today we will try once more to reach the world that is in accordance with your will. The light is in it because it does not oppose the will of God. It is not heaven, but the light of heaven shines on it. Darkness has vanished. The ego's idle wishes have been withdrawn, yet the light that shines upon this world reflects your will, and so it must be in you that we will look for it. Your picture of the world can only mirror what is within. The source of neither light nor darkness can be found without. Grievances darken your mind, and you look out on a darkened world. Forgiveness lifts the darkness, reasserts your will, and lets you look upon a world of light. We have repeatedly emphasized that the barrier of grievances is easily passed and cannot stand between you and your salvation. The reason is very simple. Do you really want to be in hell? Do you really want to weep and suffer and die? Forget the ego's arguments which seek to prove all this is really heaven. You know it is not so. You cannot want this for yourself. There is a point beyond which illusions cannot go. Suffering is not happiness, and it is happiness you really want. Such is your will in truth. And so salvation is your will as well. You want to succeed in what we are trying to do today. We undertake it with your blessing and your glad accord. We will succeed today if you remember that you want salvation for yourself. You want to accept God's plan because you share in it. You have no will that can really oppose it, and you do not want to do so. Salvation is for you. Above all else, you want the freedom to remember who you really are. Today it is the ego that stands powerless before your will. Your will is free, and nothing can prevail against it. Therefore, we undertake the exercises for today in happy confidence, certain that we will find what it is your will to find and remember what it is your will to remember. No idle wishes can detain us nor deceive us 
with an illusion of strength. Today let your will be done, and end forever the insane belief that it is hell in place of heaven that you choose. We will begin our longer practice periods with the recognition that God's plan for salvation, and only His, is wholly in accord with your will. It is not the purpose of an alien power thrust upon you unwillingly. It is the one purpose here on which you and your Father are in perfect accord. You will succeed today, the time appointed for the release of the Son of God from hell and from all idle wishes. His will is now restored to awareness. He is willing this very day to look upon the light in him and be saved. After reminding yourself of this and determining to keep your will clearly in mind, tell yourself with gentle firmness and gentle certainty, I will there be light. Let me behold the light that reflects God's will and mine. Then let your will assert itself, joined with the power of God and united with yourself. Put the rest of the practice period under their guidance. Join with them as they lead the way. In the shorter practice periods, again make a declaration of what you really want. Say, I will there be light. Darkness is not my will. This should be repeated several times an hour. It is most important, however, to apply today's idea in any form immediately you are tempted to hold a grievance of any time. This will help you let your grievances go instead of cherishing them and hiding them in darkness. That's Lesson 73, I Will There Be Light. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.